Hey, it's Woz here with another Heroic Bounty Guide. This time it's going to be the Heroic Cthune Bounty, which is a harder one to actually complete, but there are a few ways you can actually do it. If you have access to Bashamdi, where he's fully leveled up, or at least to a point where he can actually be used in a team, then you can cheese this fight completely by using an irrefutable deal where you bounce back all the mercenaries to the hand, and the computer can only use one mercenary at a time. But if you don't have access to Bashamdi, then you are going to have to not cheese it and find a way to do it. To do this, I did it with dragons. Dragons are pretty new player friendly, though I am using Alex Straza, which is a little bit harder to get because she is a legendary, though you can instead use Nefarian if you don't have access to her. Sinestra, we are going to be using Mana Brooch as her equipment. Kazakis, we are using Wild Vine. Yulon, we are going to be using Pearl of Yulon. Anixia, we are using Razor Sharp Claws. Alex Straza, we're using Amulet of Swiftness. Then Archimon to unlock his equipment. To get up to the boss fight, you're going to be using Sinestra, Kazakis, and Yulon. For Sinestra, you're going to be using Racking Swipe, turn 1, and then use Mana Barrier or Twilight Extinction, depending on if she needs more heals or someone else does and how much heals they actually need. Kazakis, you're just going to be putting up a Taunt Golem for the most part, though Rush Golems can be useful if there aren't any attack base mercenaries on that node. Yulon, we are going to be using Jade Gus, though there are some situations where Jade Flame Buffet is a little bit better. Anixia, if she is needed to be brought in, we're going to be using Insolent Mortals. And then finally, we have Alex Straza, where we're using Dragon Queen Gambit to try to finish off the Cthune. With that all being said, let's look how I did this with this team. Okay, so we're going to be putting down Nestra, Kazakis, and Yulon. Going to be attacking into the caster with Sinestra using Yulon's Jade Gust and then using Faster here. Going to repeat with faster, though we probably should have actually just put up a taunt to be safe. Also going to heal up Sinestra or try to heal her up. We're gonna make everything slower. We're gonna attack into the Sinestra that kills that. Then they're gonna kill our Sinestra. So we're gonna put down Anixia next. Going to give everything additional HP and also avoid the taunt on the caster and then use Shadow Claws because we do have six golems that died, I'm pretty sure, at this point. This should get it pretty low. Then we can just finish off this turn and then all we have left is the caster and Cthune self. Keeping the caster up live last is actually not that bad of an idea just because of the fact that you don't really care too much about it staying alive. Sure, it is going to give additional HP and attack every other turn, but it's still a lot better than keeping the other two alive that actually take a bunch of damage 
or increase the attack of Cthune by a lot really, really quickly. Because now they're only going to be at 48 HP, though that does kill two of our mercenaries. We would have liked to actually maybe try to them alive for a little bit longer. We're going to use the Jade Buffet, and then we're going to use Finger of Death, and then also try to heal with Alex Traza on our Yulon, just so just so the Yulon doesn't actually die, and we can actually do some damage to the Cthune next turn using Alex Traza's third ability. For the most part, Cthune is actually really, really dumb. We'll just keep spamming the additional adds each individual turn, and if we can keep our mercenaries alive, this is really good. We just needed to pop the Divine Shield before we wanted to use this. And the next turn, we can just hit it again with something else, and then the following turn, finish them off with a Alex draws a third ability. Actually, we could finish them off this turn with this. Alright, I hope this guide was helpful for you, and if it was, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, bye-bye.